Merry Christmas, Church! Good morning once again, and Merry Christmas. So, as we sing this song, Heart the Herald Angels Sing, let's remember that all glory and all honor belongs to Him and Him alone. Let's sing.
As we approach the end of the year, let's remember God's love. His love overwhelmingly satisfies and never fails. It will never give up nor run dry. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let's sing this song. Oh
very good morning to you. Today, I'd like to share with you on the importance of maintaining a spirit of thanksgiving. As you come to the close of the year and the beginning of a brand new year, it is good to have a thankful spirit which will always result in us being grateful and being a great blessing to our loved ones as well as others. Having been saved by God's grace, we have many reasons to thank God for. Yes, for who He is, for what He has given us, and for all that He has done on our behalf throughout this year and the years to come. Let us consider our grateful response to God for all that He has given us by meditating upon Psalm 136 which serves as a great reminder for us to start the new year with a spirit of thanksgiving. Verses 1 to 3 say, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for His mercy endures forever. First, we must thank God for who He is. The psalmist uses the holy trine structure to thank God and in so doing, reveals the very person of God. In verse 1, God is Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. In verse 2, God is Elohim, the strong and powerful God. In verse 3, God is called Adonai, the Lord of Lords. From this, we learn that the Lord is our triune God. Therefore, we thank God, our Heavenly Father, for choosing us to be the apples of His eyes before the worlds were ever framed. We thank God, the Son, who came to give us life through His life lived and through His atoning death for our sin. We thank God, the Spirit, who draws us to Jesus to teach us to walk with Him day by day. Let us therefore thank God for who He is and appreciate Him for the relationship that we have with Him. Thank God for this year and thank God for the coming years. Verses 4 to 9 say, To Him who alone does great wonders, for His mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom make the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. To him who lay out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him who make great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the star to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. Second, Thank God for His power in creation. The psalmist give thanks to God for what He has made. He call us to thank God for His wonders and then list them down for us to meditate upon. He acknowledge God's wisdom in making the heavens, in stretching out the earth above the waters, in creating the moon, sun and stars, which are called the great lights. In so doing, he draw our attention to the wonder of it all, that is, God's wisdom in creation. Here we see the sacred, sacred refrain of the psalmist, and God's grace is seen in his creation. Thus, in spite of our many problems, and in the face of our darkest hour, and even during this coronavirus pandemic, we should look at the creative power of God and see that He who created the world out of nothing and He who gave us new birth when we were dead in trespasses and sin is worthy of all our thanksgiving. 
let us always thank God for creating us and everything else. Verses 10 to 32 say, To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever, with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and make Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorite, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, king of Bazan, for his mercy endures forever. And gave their land as a, as a heritage, for his mercy endures forever. Uh, a heritage to Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Thirdly, thank God for his grace in salvation. The Sami thanks God for his grace that saved us. He speaks about the principal motive for salvation under the Old Testament, which is the exodus from the slavery of Egypt to the possession of the promised land. He tells us that this thing happened for our instruction that redemptive history did not stop there, but the exodus of Israel to a small patch of earth was only a living history metaphor for the worldwide work of salvation that generations after generation of people from all over the world will get out of their bondage of sin and into the freedom of a new Thank God there is now a more glorious salvation and promised land and a great leader in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us therefore thank God for His grace. Verses 23 to 26. Who remembered us in our Lord's stage, for His mercy endures forever and rescued us from our enemies for his mercy and views forever who gives food to all flesh for his mercy and views forever oh give thanks to god of, of heaven for his mercy and views forever lastly we must thank god for his preservation of our life the sami thank god for remembering us for delivering us from our adversary and for sustaining us. In closing, he tells us to give thanks unto El Shamayim, the God of heaven. Above all, God looks down and preserves his people through his protection and sustaining. Psalm 36, verse 6 says, Your righteousness is like the great mountains, your judgment are a great deep. O oh Lord, you preserve men and beasts. May our refrain be, through every trial and through the adversity of every enemy that comes against us, and even unto death, the love of God will never leave, let me go. Therefore, I will always be thankful to you, O oh Lord. Let's thank God for his preservation of our life, both now and forevermore. And in conclusion, our appreciation of his divine blessing is expressed in thanksgiving that serves as a foundation of our gratitude, which is the completion of thankfulness. 
though thankfulness may consist merely of appreciative word, gratitude is seen in acts of blessing, causing the recipient to be thankful who would extract words of thanksgiving from a deep sense of thankfulness and heart of gratitude will reciprocate in good deeds and acts of blessing. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. May we always maintain a spirit of thanksgiving for the coming years. Let's begin and end each day with thankfulness unto the Lord. May God bless you with a thankful heart. And remember His mercies and deals forever. Let us be thankful. Let us be grateful. And let us be full of good deeds to our family and those around us, even as far as we go. May we be a thankful person that will impact others to come to know God and be thankful and grateful to the Lord forever in their life as well. Till we meet again, may God bless you 